So good morning, everyone. Yeah, I am. This is when I wear my Goldilocks wig when we do all kinds of fundraising for the foundation. And I'm going to introduce all of these things are important to me. You have been seeing the image of the book. And before I read excerpts from the book to you, I maybe just want to mention something that was written in the foreword by one of the reviewers. So now meet Z, the protagonist of the delightful story and the children and adults alike. For her, everything is equally important and leads to all kinds of adventures, sometimes with unfortunate consequences. The first half of the book describes the adventures and life of Z in rhyme form, which is fun and has a nursery rhyme sensibility. The book is written in five of the official languages um, in our country, which make the book very unique. And it addressed very, many of the issues that the children and adults are facing in their daily lives. And the reviewer also said, I am not aware of another resource that tackles the problems of ADHD children face in such an innovative yet playful manner. It is really a handy tool for discussions at home, school or wherever children congregate. It is also useful for parents, teachers and the like to enter the world of ADHD and gain better insights. The latter part of the book is a synopsis with very concise yet scientifically grounded information regarding ADHD, its symptoms, its treatment and management that should really guide our understanding of the disorder as well. And we also include tips for parents, tips for teachers and also good online resources. I would like to read you some excerpts and I'm only going to read some of the English just to give you an idea about the book. So we co-authored myself and Ophelia Mark Loy, which is one of the top South African authors as well. And the illustrations are beautiful by David Friesel, also a young and upcoming author. And I can try to show you some of the pictures. So it might be out of focus, but it's all gray and white line drawings with an ethnic neutral little girl and her adventures. And many of the children that, that have the book also use it as a coloring book. But we have many adults buying the book and say it's the first time someone really understands them. So, all of these things are important to me. Z is talking. Look at me through others and what do you see? A naughty little girl since the day she turned three? Look at me through others and what do you see? A silly little girl that doesn't know ABC. Look at me through others and what do you see? A rude little girl, she can't play with me. This is just the introduction in terms of what children with ADHD and even adults with ADHD is often experiencing and what Claire also have mentioned where people often label children as naughty, stupid or just badly behaved. But then Z asks, Look at me through others, and there's plenty you will see, but I wonder why can't you just look at me? It is then really going on about a day of the challenges to face and everyone that's on a case. What's wrong with you, Z? I upset mother. She wanted me washed, but found me playing with brother. Where are your socks and why are your mouths blue? Why are you taking so long in the loo? Where is your homework? I can't seem to spot. Oh, sorry, mom, I think I forgot. Then she takes a bus ride to school, but without all the intentions of doing her homework on the bus, but she got distracted by the butterflies and eventually also got off at the wrong bus stop. She ended up in the zoo, where she also had an excursion and got herself into trouble. And everyone is fighting with her. The ranger, the bus driver, and when she eventually arrived late for school, now teacher is also on a case. What's wrong with you, Z? This time it's teacher. I charged to a class knocking person and creature. Where have you been and why are you so late? I heard you shouting all the way from the gate. I'm sorry, dear teacher, for making you wait. It's only morning and I have so much on my plate. Z then described what really has happened in her morning from her perspective. So firstly, it was the adult that's on a case, but now she explained. I woke up excited, played bouncy with brother, found sweets undercover and lost my sock in the loo. I didn't do homework, so I tried on the bus, but the butterflies were beautiful as they fly right by us. 
Now the butterflies in the book is a core theme running through and it has to do with thoughts drifting off. So it's also symbolic of that. She then explained a excursion in the zoo and everything then what went wrong. But then she said in desperation, I'm not being naughty, nor silly, nor rude. What I do doesn't always work out like it should. All of these things are important to me. My brain just work on them differently. And then she begs to the reader, look at me through my eyes and what will you see? An adventurous young girl since the day I turned three. Look at my eyes, uh, look at me through my eyes and what will you see? A creative young girl as busy as a bee. She goes on explaining this. And then the final part of the book, and you will notice I skipped many of it, but the final sentence is then, look at me through my eyes and there's plenty you will see. My brain just work on things differently. So we specifically chose Z as the goal to, to address the misconception that it's always boys that will, the, the, up the, how the world see it as it's usually naughty, hyperactive boys. And where we often see that girls are even less likely to be diagnosed, especially if they're not the hyperactive, impulsive type, but rather the inattentive type. The story of Z is also based on the patients I work with in my practice and the stories that the children talk about, the parents talk about, what they share, what is the daily difficulty they have. So we wrote the story to be very, very accessible to everyone, readable, with a sense of humor, with fun, um, can be interactive if it's with, with the child, but it's also a very good resource in terms of accurate information. As we know, it's so easy to get misleading information on the internet as well. So it's really summarized, and our dream is that every single school in South Africa will have a copy um, of, of the book. And we also hope that it will get international traction. So it should be active on Amazon from next week, so that where you could download it then as a downloadable book. In South Africa, we only have it as a print book because we try to limit screen time, etc. Um, but yeah, please consider reading up more on the book. Contact Claire, visit our website if you want to get hold of our copy, or also look at Amazon as from next week where you will be able to, to download it. All the funds that we're raising by the selling of the book goes for ADHD awareness and towards the services that we deliver at the foundation. Thank you very much. You guys, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm enormously excited and uh, I'm, uh, that's the first time I've heard it through. I, it touches my heart and I'm so excited it's going to be available um, globally. Uh, and uh, um, it's just wonderful. I'm just going to bring your faces in because we can't see, can't see you right now, which is on uh, on us. Um, uh, I do not know why that's doing that. Um, uh, it's going to have to be have to be us just for now. Um, it's extraordinary what you're doing as well in uh, um, in South Africa. I thought the the. the the discussion of the current situation was actually it was completely heartbreaking and the difference I think as part of a global conference to bring in the South African and the African experience and, and what's happening there and the difference between the economies because I, I, it was an area of concern for me that we would just be focusing on essentially the, the, the wealthier countries who have very different problems uh, to, to, what, to what you're dealing with. Um, and so it was, it was wonderful for you to, sh to show and share that. And so thank you very much for, for doing that. Um, no, that's great. And, and thank you so much for, um, uh, uh, well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of the conference. conference. Uh, thank you so much for um, uh, all you presented. So I think this is the point that we have to say goodbye and um, uh, um, we've got a video and then we're moving on. Uh, to Phil, but so thank you guys very, very much. Um, it has been wonderful, uh, and yeah, you know, hugely appreciate. And so excited that it's now available. Well, shortly will be available on Amazon uh, for I think your Kindle edition is what you said, uh, and then 
I, can't, I hope in the future perhaps print as well. Um, we'll see. But like, obviously, it's been such a big seller in South Africa, so I'm so excited it's going to be available globally now. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye, Thank guys. Thank you very much for the opportunity to participate. Do the best. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.